Hey there friends and enemies, Super here again, and we got a very exciting update for the first Senate. This is a game that after playing the previous beta, I was pretty excited about. I know there's some things that the game needs to work on and some improvements that we're going to see along the way, but I'm really hopeful that this game is going to deliver a very fun experience. And we got a crossplay beta announcement for August that I can't wait to check out as well. This game on console, I think is going to be very, very successful. So I'm very much looking forward to that. Let's check out the trailer. And yeah, Bunny's one of the best characters in the game, by the way. If you haven't played her, if you haven't tried her in the beta or looked at any of the uh, gameplay of her, awesome. The producer of First Descendant. Next gen third person looter shooter developed in UE5. Crossplay is huge, by the way. I love that. I think that's massive for a co op game like this. PVE only, too, no PvP. Oh, they have new characters they're showing off. So, okay, that looks like Anthem, almost that character. That was kind of sick. Giant boss fight. This was one of the best parts of the beta. Some of these boss fights are sick. Movement was very good, very fast. Alright, yeah. I like how they're taking the improvements from the last beta that people suggested. Oh, nice. I like those look sick. Oh, they changed the grappling hook? Nice. Rotation, acceleration. Oh, yeah, the movement's going to be even better. Like that right there? Very sick. I love that. A little behind the scenes on the music. They aim to launch the game this year. Nice. Crossplay beta in August. On, on consoles as well as PC. PS5, Xbox X, Series X, Series S, and then Steam. Oh, it's a week-long test as well. Nice. I've already registered, by the way. I saw this earlier, and I registered immediately. Be the first descendant. Then Discord, etc., etc. So, overall, I'm excited because it seems like they really want to update with some of the features that people have requested from the previous beta, which is nice. I know there were some performance issues with the beta as well for a lot of people. And I'll be really curious to see how this game performs uh, as far as like uh, frames and kind of hitching and all that kind of stuff on console as well. Because we did see people struggling a bit on Steam. And if they're able to get the consoles right and then update how Steam functions as well, that could be massive for this game. It's a game, like I said, uh, reminds me a little bit of Warframe in the way that it handles as far as like uh, third person fast movement you have uh, lots of different characters that you unlock so in you unlock the frames in warframe well this one you unlock specific characters with their unique abilities and play styles and all that stuff and i'm very curious to see how that's going to work out and that's 
really what a game like this needs is it needs uh, reasons to grind, right? Reasons to want to replay the game over and over again. Unlocking the new characters is one of them. Uh, defeating some of these giant boss fights, that's another one of them. And we'll see how it goes. I know they mentioned potentially adding like raids, dungeons, or something like that in the future. I think that would be very, very cool. I think that's something that would really enhance the game. But originally, we'll see how long the campaign is. We have to wait and see how long. Um, like some of the story missions were a little repetitive in the beta as well. But I think they were just like an initial impressions and not the full thing. They just wanted to give you a taste of everything. So yeah, it's gonna. There's a lot of factors at play here. But knowing what we have seen so far, I am personally pretty excited i know as a fan of looter shooters i want more competition in the space uh, this is the type of game that will need to get it's, it's not going to be perfect at launch and they're going to need to take time to not only get it right at launch like put it in a good spot but then like you see with warframe and destiny 2 and uh, games like that where you just Fallout 76 is a great example where you just add content over the time and then you look back and you're like, wow, this is it started off as a good game and sometimes maybe less than a good game in some of those cases, but oftentimes like Warframe, it starts off as a good game and then it evolves with so much different content you're like, eventually it becomes a great game and that's what I'm looking forward to with a game like this as well. So overall, I'll be playing the crossplay beta, I'll give you guys a ton of uh, footage, gameplay, Maybe some different character builds and stuff like that, depending on how deep we're able to jump into it. we got a whole week that we'll be able to dive in. I'm very excited about it. Let me know in the comments down below. Will you be checking out this beta? Are you excited about the first Descendant? Is it a game that you think could be like, uh, for me, what I want it to be is a game I can play alongside Destiny as maybe not uh, a game that I'm... I'm grindless and grinding endlessly and but but i have in my rotation that i really enjoy playing because it provides me with something different so i'd love to hear from you guys like the video if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel helps me out tremendously shows you want to see more first descendant content from me going forward it's gonna uh i'm gonna post a lot of it so be ready for that my name is Joe. i hope you have a good one i'll catch you all later